guys, it's your good old buddy KB Giants fan here, and uh, oh yeah, I'm back with some more Blood Dragon action, because uh, now we're getting really down to the nitty gritty uh, end of this game, where our character's really overpowered, and we've got all but one weapon. So here's our next uh, waypoint. This is a uh, Sloane's personal doctor who's been basically creating him bioweapons, and it's time for us to go and uh, take him down. Infiltrate his headquarters, his little office, whatever you want to call it, his doctor's lab. And uh, that's our goal yeah, of this mission here, is to get in there and take him out. Because I think after this, once we've taken him out, I don't think Sloane's got much left. So, let's go ahead and make our way over there and uh, dealing with some of the local wildlife. <laughs> um, I'm really enjoying this, man. I wonder if any of you have even picked this up or gave it a shot, or even downloaded the demo. Because I would hope you have. It's... Uh, it really can't get any more entertaining than this game for $15. Um, if you like first-person shooters that are open world, maybe this would open your eyes up to um, the actual game of Far Cry 3 itself, because it's extremely entertaining. So, here we go, let's kind of wake our way over to this guard post. Notice they're trying to get a beat at me. Uh, let's get our sniper rifle, zoom in, see if we can get a clear shot at them. And that's the kind of the direction Dr. I'm trying Carla to get the, what the, fucking snake, jeez, okay. hit the fucking rock, alright, there we go, nice, there's another one, let's just get the, let's get our auto out, our machine gun out and go take these guys out, yeah, come on, come on, oh, they got that dogs too, jeez, they're starting to get dog on almost every mission we do now, um, the dogs aren't really too much to worry about, I don't see what the big deal is, it's just if they charge you, I guess, and they start chewing on your arm or something, it, it can do some damage. <laughs> but for the most part, the dogs are pretty harmless in this game, they don't affect me, I'm not worried about them whatsoever. And I'm not using the the chain gun, I'm not using flamethrower, and it's the same kind of reason I'm not really using my um, fire explosive rounds for the shotgun, because they're extremely powerful, I just... You know, in close quarter combat, you set yourself on fire, and lots of silly, silly things can happen, so... And the, I just don't need a chain gun. I think this, uh, the machine gun's just as good as of right now when it's all upgraded like it is with this huge mag and, uh, you know, the laser, ryan, laser rifle rounds and all that stuff. So here we go. We're going to hang glide on in. And, uh, I'll take a little bit of a step back and so you can hear, uh, a little bit of the dialogue on what's going on, huh? You said something about bioweapons? We were trying to beat the Russians. We'd hoped the dragon blood could bolster our fighting forces. But then we discovered its effects on normal people that turn them into savages let me guess you tried to tell Sloan not to use it that's when he requested more rockets like the Red Spear he's been arming them against the Reds against everyone Rex I think he's targeting the world and Dr. Carlisle is helping him I'll stop him and put an end to his operation this hangler thing is kind of fun by Nobody the way I do kind of enjoy this too bad we can't do some kind of dive bomb attack that'd be kind of fun maybe we can I just haven't figured it out <laughs> who knows but just kind of making our way into the secret lab. I'm kind of doing a little bit of a drift fail here, it looks like. I'm, I'm, I'm not too good with this uh, <laughs> this hang glider thing. I haven't really rode it too much. It looks like I'm damn near hitting almost every wall. Pull up. All right. See, that's how we roll. That's how we glide. That's how the, that's how the pros do the hang gliding, right? Too bad I can't do some kind of 360 no-scope uh, explosive sniper rifle blast, right? As, uh, as I drop or let loose from this uh, hang glider. That'd be sick. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. But I'm pretty sure there's a way to utilize this hang glider and uh, do some kind of drop attack and stab your enemies, but I'm not really too worried about that right now. That's not really what your goal should be at this at this juncture of this game. Here we go. We've reached the lab. Let's see if we can infiltrate nice and slow and easy and uh, try to do Try to use some stealth and utilize that a little bit this time, huh? Instead of just going in like Rambo, like I've done every damn mission. So here we go. The bio weapon lab. Looks like some of the soldiers are right over there. They haven't seen me yet, so hopefully I can sneak up on them and just get a couple of takedowns real quick. And looks like we get ya. Alright, sit down. Alright, there we go. Here's a shop. Just so kind of re-equip our weaponry, reload our all our gear like I always do, you know, I always reload all your ammo, get your health kits, get all that good stuff ready, ready to go for you. So, here we go, kind of moving on the lab, try to get a, a basis on where these enemies are located, and hopefully we can take them all down. But, uh, I guess another thing what I was going to talk about too is, man, some people, some of these video game guys on YouTube are posting some really weird stuff, man. 
I don't really want to go into exactly what I saw, because I just kind of, you know, this is pretty basic. You know, I'm not just killing all these soldiers as we make our way kind of into the, uh, well, that bird. That was a suicide bird. <laughs> and of course, I got set on fire. But all I'm really got to do is just kill these enemies and kind of work my way to the entrance of the lab. That's all that's really going on here, folks. And then, nothing I can really share tactics or tips or strategies to try to get shot and try to kill them. And so, like, this is when the dogs can be a little bit of annoying when they come up like like that. But anyway, I was just kind of farting on YouTube the other day, and uh, you know, when I was waiting for something of mine to upload, I was uploading a couple of videos and I watched a couple of things, and I was just kind of a little bit in. I don't know about in shock, but just kind of thinking, what the fuck are you uploading? Did I really... I feel like I just wasted, uh, you know, 30 seconds of my life watching some... Oh, it was... It was I don't know, folks. It, oh, it's just whatever. I mean, some of these guys have these gaming channels, and they upload some of the weirdest stuff that I've ever seen, that I've thought of. I just couldn't get what I was looking at. I was just in shock, and... Uh, yeah, uh, I'll leave it at that, but I, I don't know. Have you guys ever noticed when the YouTubers, you know, who are primarily video game channels, upload, I'm talking weird stuff, like, just seems to be randomly out of the blue, some kind of very, very strange upload, which makes you wonder if they might have been partaking in some kind of, you know, illegal drug use of some kind, or, hey, look at that, she says you can make a jump from any height. Oh, man, that was pretty far. <laughs> You'd have to be on some kind of illegal substance of some kind to make that jump, wouldn't you? <laughs> Alright, good job, Rex. I'm glad you got bigger balls than I do. There's no way I'd jump down from that thing. So as we uh, move on from this store here, I'm just kind of going to collect each store and head, head them all up. We might as well keep ourselves fully loaded, fully equipped, and uh, here we go. Making our way further deeper into the lab. Just going to be dealing with a lot of... Look at all these. Looks like all those assistants are all these former scientists, apprentices... Whatever! Looks like he seems to have taken them all down. So, let's see if we can work our way in there. And take this dude out. He keeps talking about his man cracking. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about. The game never even, that I remember, never even shows us what this fucking man cracking is. So, let's go ahead and sneak up on that guy and stab him. I'm trying to be stealthy this time. Looks like these are just a bunch of labs. I see this guy. You know, he's facing me. I could have gone the stealth right with him with my heavy beat down, but it's... You know, when you got a quick beat on a, on a heavy, it's good to kill him, and then I can just take that guy down. So, we're going through this nice and easy. Just nice and easy through the labs. Try to be stealthy. Get your shotgun out for close quarter combat, if necessary. And working our way slowly through the labs. This part is where it starts to get kind of weird. Uh, uh, there's some items over there. I don't really need that shit. There could be some a lot of money in cash in that sucker, though, so I'll go ahead and open up that box. But some of these other things, I'm not really too worried about it. Alright, we got a lot more dudes down here. Let's see if I can sneak up on him. Nice and quiet. Oh, there we go. Wake up. I'll take him out with a shrieking. Blow him away with a couple blasts with a shotgun to the face. Oh, yeah, a quad barrel shotgun. And what the hell? What are... What are these? Some kind of mutated... Like... Oh. Well, whatever. Looks like that's some type of new type of scientific experimental enemy of some kind. I don't know, because most of these other enemies seem to be robots. Those didn't look like robots to me. They looked like maybe they might have been actually human. Some kind of experiments of some kind. Well, it's probably a good thing we're in here shutting down this evil lab. I mean, those guys looked kind of like they were up to some no good man shenanigans, so it's a good thing we're about to stop them all. We gotta get this guy. Yeah, Sloan's a bad guy. He's a piece of trash. He killed our best friend. There's no place in the world for people like this. Or androids like that for the most part. Isn't this guy half robot or something? Jeez, come on. Let's go find this guy. Alright, here's some more dudes. Well, let's see if I can stealth the whole room. I bet I can do it. All right, nice, and, nice and easy. Okay, there's one. Okay, let's see if I can get this guy. Oh, there's two. Keep it up. Don't get lazy. Don't get sloppy. Keep sneaking up on them, KB. Right, there's three. Right, here we go. Nice and easy, see? I can stealth with the best of them. Come on, I don't need to be like Rambo. But there's another one. All right, another one. I see two more. This is going pretty damn good. Shut the alarm off. Yeah. This is going nice and easier than I thought it would. It looks like I only see two more. Let's see if I can sneak up on him. And hopefully his friend didn't see me. And he obviously did not. <laughs> He's oblivious. What you doing, noob? How did he not see me? Looks like I stabbed him all. All right. We got it going pretty good here now. All right, make our way up into the 
we made our way to the bottom of the lab. Looks like we've got to come up through maybe the other side. Maybe this is where his personal office is. I think his name is... Oh, shit, what they say his name was? I can't remember what they said this doctor's name was. It doesn't really matter what his name was. He's the evil guy who's... He's the evil doctor who's helping Sloane create bioweapons. And that's all we really need to know, right? I mean, anyone who's associated with Sloane has got to be a piece of crap. Especially some doctor who's going to be creating bioweapons for him. So it's kind of... I'm trying to get my way over here. Now that I've been pretty stealthy and haven't really alerted anybody, I'm trying to... Oh, what the... Two minutes? Oh, shit. She's got to hack the door, and I'm going to have to fight enemies off for about two minutes now. I think I can handle that. That can't be a problem, right? All right, here we go. I guess the only thing that would suck is if I potentially run out of ammo, right? But I think we got this. Yeah, blow all those barrels up. They're helpful. They're just like a grenade, you know, like in all other games. All their shooting games when you see red barrels and stuff around. But trying to stay one... <clears throat> Excuse me, man. That was, that was terrible. Just try to stay away from red barrels yourself, and you should know that from any first-person shooter. You see those explosive barrels at your back? It's probably not really a good place to hang out because the enemies will throw random grenades in there. They will shoot at them and potentially uh, randomly could just hit one. And that could uh, be the, uh, you know, could spell doom for your character and your fun times. Or the, you know, it ruins your fun, man. You don't get to kill people anymore when they blow you up. I mean, geez, come on, take his head off. Okay, here we go. They're, they're spawning in again. There we go. I was going to say, there's about a minute left. That can't be all the dudes. And then here we go throwing firebombs on me. So that would be real dangerous if there's like an explosive barrel around. That'd be terrible. Who wants to deal with that shit? But I guess they got to make this uh, part of the game a little bit difficult. At least they're not adding artificial difficulty. I really hate when games add artificial difficulty. I, can, I guess like uh, I guess I'd, I'll use an example of a first-person shooter game would be uh, F F Call of Duty World at War with the endless grenade spam and respawning enemies. I mean that was just terrible, dude. The artificial difficulty if you ask me they make it hard just to be annoying or because they were lazy to make a real challenge so they just said oh let's just spam like the, the uh, you know the player with grenades and explosives and anytime he stands up he just gets shot in the head and killed yeah that's fun that'll be a challenge no that's artificial difficulty folks at least that's what i like to call it when they make a game hard just by making it annoying you know and we're doing you know, one shot kills and you have like two seconds to react i'm like this is ridiculous this is not fun so I'm glad this game didn't really try to go that route too much. The only spots I can really uh, think to myself where they might have added artificial difficulty is a part coming up actually in this mission where you have to deal with like freaking two dragons in close quarters situation um, without really much to hide behind. It's like, okay, well, I, I guess that's kind of a fun little challenge, but like I said, it feels artificial to me. So I prefer games to be difficult because the situation arises for it and you need to use a specific strategy to get through, not just here, let's throw random grenades and explosives and respawning endless waves of enemies at you. Because, yeah, sure, that'll make it challenging. No, I, I hate to go on a rant here and I'm done with it, but to me that just gets annoying. And it's not fun, it's not challenging, it's just irritating. And people get frustrated and don't want to play it. So here we go. Looks like we're in another lab full of dudes, so... I don't know, let's see if I can try the stealth approach one more time. Maybe get a shrieking in, into one. Stab one and get a shrieking into another. That might do it might, be, it. might do some well. I don't know, I can at least hopefully sneak up and stab this guy. Okay, there we go. We got him. Have they seen us? It doesn't look like it. Okay, chain take down, chain take down. Shrieking, shrieking, shrieking. That was sweet. See, I love when you get those chains like that. Those are fun. Looks like you got some dragons in these cells of some kind, holding cell. Got animals in there they're doing experiments on, probably for these bioweapons that this doc's trying to create. Uh, man, there can't be much, too much more to this lab, can there? I mean, he, I hear this guy talking about his man cracking he wants to let loose. So let's see what this man cracking is and what it's cracked up to be, because I don't remember even seeing one ever. Last time I played through this game, there was no freaking man cracking. It was a bunch of hype, never delivered. I hate that, man. You get all hyped up for a movie or a match or a sporting event or like the Super Bowl and it's just a big letdown. You're like, ah, where's this man cracking? I just see a bunch of these douchebag soldier noobs. Uh, yeah, yeah, take his head off, take his head off. Looks like I'm still looking pretty good in the ammo situation. Keep getting set on fire a little bit, but I will deal with that. We can deal with that as it comes. So here we go. This is, looks like where we've got to head into. Here we go. Whoa, whoa. Where are all these guys come from? Shotgun justice. Oh, one left, huh? Yeah. Just sit down, dude. All right. Cool. Oh, crap. Here we go. Take him out. I don't really need to pill for these guys too much anymore that I can think of. I'm, I've am i got enough money. I've got enough supplies to last through this area, right? I mean, come on. Let's not worry about it. 
I'll pill for maybe the big guys, because they got the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, the little guys, though, I need to leave them there. Leave those items there. Reload the shotgun. Reload our, uh, our assault rifle, submachine gun, whatever you want to call it, and get that explosive sniper rifle ready, because this part's going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt, if I remember correctly. So, well, is there a store right around here? Maybe there is a store. I'm trying to jump through here. Looks like I can't make it into these offices. Oh, come on. There's got to be a way through this. Oh, that's what you're trying to do. Are huh? you trying to stick another heavy at me? He ain't gonna last more than about three seconds. Come on, Sloan, you gotta do better than that. This is KB Giants fan you're dealing with here, man, not just some chump. But, uh, Excuse me, uh, what's this? Like nothing. Okay. Come on. Oh, there's a store. Here we go. Let's reload our gear. Because I know we've got a nasty battle coming up here. Just a matter of finding where it is. Oh, here we go. It's the anti gravity machine that's gonna take us up to the surface. Let's have a fun ride. Woohoo! Okay, here we go. Ah, looks like we're in a dragon battleground. Huh? Fucking bring it. Let's go. Come on, boy. I'm right here. Come on, kitty, kitty. Look at that. He doesn't have a brain cage, so. Oh, I gotta watch it. There's two of them. And I'm already getting crashed on. Certain attacks the dragons do will ignore your uh, body armor completely and just whittle away at your health really fast. So, this part is actually a little bit dangerous, if you ask me. I'm trying to whittle away at one of them, but the other one's kind of getting in the way. So, if you can just get one of them at a time, that'd be just fine. Kind of just run away. Oh, that was a good hit. I'm damn near dead. I better heal up. <laughs> I don't want to take any stupid chances. So, here we go. Yeah. Shoot the underbelly. You can try to use hearts. I don't remember if they really distract him. The game is mentioning to me, you know, you need to use your cyber hearts. It'll distract the dragons. But I don't know, man. I thought if they could see me like this, and I'm right out in the open. I don't know if those cyber hearts are really going to do a very good job. So here we go. I need to switch over weapons. I'm just trying to get some distance. Get that explosive sniper rifle out, and from there we can blast away these suckers. All right. Remember, get back when you're about to blow one up when they turn to purple goo. And I don't know how that other dragon is still alive. He barely has any health. I didn't see that. Come on, man. All right, they're both damn near dead now. And I see the scientist little douche running around. We'll deal with him when this is over. There we go. All right, I annihilated both your dragons, man. Is that all you got for me, huh? Is that all you got? I think I'm going to just let you be and let the wild creatures of the planet take you down. Go ahead, dude. Yeah, go run off. Run off like a little bitch. I'll kill you, kill you. Mr. Scientist, just get out of here, dude. You're not even worth my time. Sloan, I'm telling you. For uh, It'll be a lot worth him to do a Sloan for your failures than it would be dealing with me. It looks like, oh, he's releasing the dogs are going to go after him. Oh, okay. There we go. I guess those dogs have taken care of that scientist for us. We're not going to have to worry about it at all. And we are cleared with this mission. So I'm pretty sure right after this, we're going to be at the point of no return, which I mean is... Uh, at that, at the point when we hit up our next mission marker, I think that's it. Um, I believe we're at the end of the game. So, here we go. I'm gonna get geared up to uh, hit up. Uh, I'll get to the next, the closest garrison to that next mission marker, and we will pick it up from there. Peace out, guys. Oh, my good old buddy, Kimmy Giants fan. I hate to lose you. I mean, a, a fine soldier like yourself. Objective complete. Get to these coordinates. <laughs>